Now we come to Olga Corbett, and what a story she was at the Munich Games on the uneven <laughs> parallel bars. Linda, she had a little bit of everything happen to her, didn't she? She sure did. On her first round of optionals, she had a lot of problems. She got off a little bit on her timing, and then she just couldn't pull herself back together. She just really blew the whole routine. But you know, at that particular moment, she captured the hearts of millions here in the United States when she cried on television that night. And then she came back with a move that I don't think anybody's ever seen on the parallel she, bar. Yeah, she sure did. And the next day, she really outdid herself. She did one of the best jobs that she could do on the bars. Well, here she is. Here she's getting ready for her famous trick. And complete somersault. All the cameras in the place went off. <laughs> Linda, did you ever attempt anything like that, a closer experiment with that move? Yeah, I tried it, and I had put it in my routine, and then once I did it and I hit my nose and my upper lip on the bar, <laughs> came a little too close. Here's her dismount, somersault. Oh, look at Garvey. What a showwoman she is. She loves the crowd, and the crowd responds. If nothing else, she's going to make a lot of gymnastic fans in the United States on this tour. Now we're going to take another look at the all-around champion from Munich, Ludmila Tereshova, who will be working on the balance beam. Her hometown is Grozny. That's perhaps three hours from Moscow by air. She's studying physical culture, and so she will coach when she finally gives up an active career as a gymnast. She's 20 years old, and Linda, is that too old to be thinking four <laughs> years from now? Can someone as good as she is go to Montreal and compete in another Olympic Games? Well, I don't think it's too old. <laughs> She's going to start off very good here. She starts and really shows strength and control right in the beginning, and then walks out of her handstand, shows her flexibility right away. And then she does a dive cartwheel. So she really gets her routine off to a good start. And you she, mentioned the one thing about Ludmila, the strength that she has when she performs. Her style is very different from um, her teammates, Corbett and Lastakovich, press right up to handstand. Whoops. She was a little overbalanced there. That would cost her a half a point in competition, uh, right, Linda? That's right. She, in Munich, she was a little unsteady on her balance beam routine. She had a couple of breaks in the compulsory and then didn't hit as solidly as she could. There's her no-handed forward rolls that she's quite famous for, right to split. That's real flexibility on that move. Yeah. This is a Valdez. Has she shown any new moves in this uh, routine, Linda? I think this is basically the same routine that she did in Munich. Except and she did a full twist at Munich. Tereshiva, 20 years old and our all-around world champion. third performer on the uneven parallel bars, Luba Bogdanova. Linda, did you enjoy this particular routine? I uh, really enjoyed her balance beam and her vaulting, and I think that she really has a good chance for Montreal, and she's going to be one of the better Russian gymnasts in the future. She's really a good twister, as you saw right from that one move on the bar, and also from her vault. She did really nice twisting works, and on her beam, a double twist. Oh, that is clean and lovely. 17 years old, the same age as Olga Corbett. Look at that dismount! Beautiful. Linda, how would you describe that just now? What did she do? Well, she stood on the bar, which they're, they're thinking of making it an illegal dismount because she dismounted from her feet. But it's very spectacular twisting dismount. And that was a double full, Linda. Double twist right off. Just like on her beam, a double. Now here comes our all-around champion again, Ludmila Tereshiva. How does she perform on the uneven parallel bars, Linda? How did she do in Munich in this event? When she, she did. Won the she did excellent. She's another good twister. She does uh, two one and a half twists, and then one of them she goes right into a full twist, and then a twisting dismount. 
which is very powerful on our cast. You can usually cast it right up to a handstand. There's the one of the twists, and there's another. The whole uh, uneven bar routine should really swing and flow and move from one bar to the other. No stops at all. Very nice handstand. She made her put went right on top of the bar. Oh, a lovely performance by Ludmilla Tereshiva here in the Astrodome. Now we come to the athletic ballet, the floor exercises, each of the women accompanied by music. This is Luba Bogdanova. That was a double twisting full becoming very popular if you can do it. And there aren't too many girls that can really do it right now. And Linda, the Russian girls are the greatest in the world in this event, and I don't think anyone can touch them. I don't think so either. In Munich, they took first, second, and third place. And I think even fifth and seventh or something like that. Russian folk music. The Peddler's Box and Luba Bogdanova gets a nice round of applause here for the crowd in the Houston Astrodome. Olga Corbett's gold medal performance on the balance beam when ESPN Classic Sports Spectacular continues. Take a look at the performer everyone in the Houston Astrodome has been waiting to see up on that balance beam. Olga Corbett. She's a spectacular performer up there, isn't she? Yes, Linda? she certainly is. She has added several new moves, Tom Maloney, that they say the world had never seen until the Munich Games. That is correct, and she has some new ones, but I think she's going to save them from the World Games. She might surprise us. She jumps on her mount right to straddle splits. Shows her flexibility right away, and the crowd really loves that mount. She's getting ready, she's gonna do her first back somersault. Right on the beam. When well, isn't there some talk about the International Federation outlawing the back somersault? I, that's what I've heard, that uh, the head of the International Federation, Madame Naj, says that the tuck backs, or tuck fronts, I guess. It's too risky. It's too risky. Uh, and even anesthetic as compared to the other things in the balance room. Here Here's she goes. Lay out back handspring to chest roll, which she does better than anybody that I've ever seen. Other girls do it, but they don't get nearly the height and the lift that uh, Olga does. Really flexible in that back. All her walkovers. Flexibility is really important for any of the young people that would like to grow up and be gymnasts. There's her back, back somersault, and then tuck front oh. for a dismount. Wow. Look at Corbin, and the crowd loves her. Let us now take one more look at Ludmila Tereshova. She really works at this. And another first just handspring, but she did land off bounds. And here is Tereshova on the most difficult of all vaults, a full twisting Yamashita. Excellent pre-flight, a little low, and on this twist, a little lack of control, but a vault this difficult is very, very hard to control. In the vault, the judges like to see Free flight, the distance they travel from the board, height and after flight. Well, let's watch that after flight. See Carl leads her there. And another Yamashita the ball. Luba Bogdanova. She could be a real comer at Montreal. And another full twisting hamstring. A lack of opening up, but a pretty good ball. Linda, tell me, are the Russians 
Now, here we're watching Olga Corbett in the vault. Do they also dominate in the vault in the world over? No, the East Germans are dominating right now in the vaulting event. And now we're going to watch Olga Corbett's vault in slow motion. She's running, takes her hurdle, really hits the horse well. Tremendous lift. She really gets opened. And a pretty good landing. Very nice vault all over. A young girl needs no introduction, of course. Olga Corbett, and in the floor exercises at Munich, she won the gold medal. There are some people in sports who are just naturally superstars, and she is one of them. This is Ludmila Tereshiva, the last performer for the Russians, won the gold medal in the all-around, but she was second to Olga in the floor exercises. You would have to say that this is the world's finest all-around gymnast today. lighter Tereshiva receiving applause here from the crowd in Astrodome who really appreciated the effort that these five Russian gymnasts put out here today. Now,